Ako si Abner Manlapas. Nagkaroon ako ng sakit. Na-diagnose ako na mayroon akong Guillain-Barre syndrome. Hello po, I'm Archesa Spirito and I'm a visually impaired person po. Um, ako po si Joel Balatukan. Ako po ngayon ay 33 years old. Ako si Janice Cambry, isa akong person with psychosocial disability. Ako po si Ronel Del Rio, um, 46 years old, born blind. I'm Anna Femme Maravillas. I'm a person with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. I am Gabriel Gabi Atienza. I have been diagnosed at age 41 with Asperger's syndrome. My name is Malu Ortiz and I am a mom of a young artist with Down syndrome. My name is Jose de la Cruz. Ako si Ernesto Lucio. Hi, I am Maria Victoria Lucio. I am visually impaired. Hi, I'm Frank Hagayat. I'm 29 years old. I'm diagnosed with autism. Persons with Disabilities The World Health Organization estimates that globally, 10 to 15 percent of any given population are persons with disabilities. Yet, despite their number, this sector remains marginalized, often excluded from the mainstream, isolated and discriminated against. Persons with disabilities are commonly defined as people who have physical, mental, intellectual and sensory impairments. But this definition is still problematic, for instance, for many persons with chronic illnesses such as psoriasis, cancer, HIV AIDS, depression, and others who are not uniformly recognized by government agencies as included under disability. In reality, however, the focus should not be on the impairments because these are not equivalent to the disability. The categorization of persons of disabilities has already evolved. Whereas before, it would really refer to the individual in terms of the medical model. But now, it has been rights-based. Nagkaroon ng shifting into social model. So, ngayon, um, if a person has an impairment and there are barriers na nai-encounter niya in his, his or her da daily living, doon nagkakaroon ngayon ng disability. For persons with disabilities to realize their full potential and contribute to the community, barriers that disable them must be eradicated. First is the attitudinal barrier. Um, ito yung mga common notion ng tao sa regarding persons with disabilities, yung mga negative images ng persons with disabilities na tingin ng tao ay yun sila. Ang alam pa rin ng nasa rural areas, malas ang nagkaroon ng anak na may kapansanan. Hindi ho totoo yun. Ang isang mistake is abnormal daw ang may kapansanan. Ay, mga abnormal yan eh, kasi hindi tama yung wala silang mata, wala silang paa, hindi sila kakadinig. Lahat po tayo in some ways, we are all abnormal. We are a person who happen to have a disability. So, bulag ho kami, hindi kami abnormal. O bingi kami, but hindi kami abnormal. Ang mas mabigat para sa aming mga persons with psychosocial disability, hindi yung kondisyon eh, yung stigma sa amin. Stigma is number one, to be eradicated. Kasi stigma is really disabling than the disability itself, no? than the condition itself. Marami sa amin ang very highly functional, napakalaki ng ambag sa lipunang Pilipino. Pero hindi, mga closet, yung tinatawag, hindi makalabas. They won't come out in the open kasi hindi naman handa ang lipunan at ang mga tao para sa amin. Nan, hindi rin natin kasi masisise yung maraming person with psychosocial disability uh, na hindi lumantad kasi nga matindi yung diskriminasyon na nangyayari. Dahil sa mga attitudinal barriers na yun, it affects yung another barrier na i-mention ko. That's the architectural environmental barriers. Sa sasakyan, transportasyon, napakalaking barriers niya sa mga taong gumagamit ng wheelchair. Nagtatanong na ako, bakit hindi ako makasakay sa jeep? 
bakit hindi ako makasakay sa bus? Bakit sila po pwede, ako hindi? Halimbawa, sa access sa education o sa health. Sinasabi nila, walang discrimination. Totoo nga na maaring totoo na wala nga uh, sinasabi na hindi ka pwedeng kumamit ng service. Pero yung lack, ng su- yung lack of support para ma-access namin yung services na yun, eh, equal sa discrimination na rin yun. For example, kung walang sign language interpretation para sa mga services, paano makaka-access ng services ang isang dev? Halimbawa ako, gusto kong pumunta sa office ni Kapitan o ni Mayor. Tapos nasa second floor, nasa third floor. Walang rampa o elevator. Paano ko pupunta doon? Batas Pambansa 344, or the Accessibility Law, says that all buildings and facilities should be accessible to persons who use wheelchairs or have mobility impairments. It does not, however, include accessibility to information and communication, thus neglecting the needs of the deaf, blind, deaf-blind, and persons with intellectual disabilities. Sa sector, ang mga persons with psychosocial disability ang may tuturing na most invisible. Kasi yung aming mga sintomas ng kondisyon ay hindi kagyat makikita sa panlabas na kanyuan. Sa paning naman ng pamahalaan, malaking tulong yung papano magiging accessible sa mga persons with psychosocial disability. Yung mga health um, needs. Halimbawa, marami sa amin ang nagagamot. Ang mga gamot namin mahal sa isang araw. Hindi naman uso sa amin ang mga generics. At alam ko naman na may pondo ang pamahalaan para sa mga person with psychosocial disabilities, para sa mga persons with disability. So malaking tulong 'yon kung maa-access ito ng sektor. Breaking down barriers and enabling persons with disabilities entails securing and promoting awareness of their rights. This is essentially what the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities endeavors to accomplish by making governments accountable. The convention maps out the basic rights that every person with disability is entitled to. These include the right to equal opportunity, the freedom to communicate, to live independently, to be free from prejudice and discrimination. They must be given access to justice, education, employment, assistive technology, health care, and other government services. According to the UNCRPD, eliminating barriers is primarily the government's responsibility with the consolidated efforts of private corporations, civil society, and persons with disabilities organizations themselves. For more than a century, the Philippine National School for the Blind and the Philippine School for the Deaf produced alumni who demonstrate that given the opportunity, deaf and blind people can equal the feats of their non-disabled counterparts. The vision is for all schools to move towards inclusive education settings. Only then can education be within the reach of all children with disabilities. Primarily, we believe that education is for all. We have children with autism here in school, um, children with ADHD, um, pervasive developmental disorders, the global developmental delay, children with Down syndrome, and then we also have many children with learning difficulties. Um, the, the developmental aspect that the student gains from because he learns uh, the appropriate behavior appropriate, let's say, social, use of social conventions, courtesy, conversation skills, play skills, and the development of, let's say, um, self-concept, positive self-concept, and from good models. We're just um, preparing them here in their younger years, but what they have to gain from the inclusive setup here is something that they will enjoy throughout the rest of their lives. The Philippine School for Prosthetics and Orthotics, or PSPO, provides training and job opportunities 
for those with mobility impairment. Our technicians, our amputees themselves, so they were beneficiaries before but are now service providers. So it's really a full circle wherein uh, they are now uh, independent and truly reintegrated into the community and mainstream. Joel Palatukan, an athlete and international sports medalist, is among the service providers at PSPO. Yung ginagawa ko ay mas masarap ang pili ko kasi naka itong trabaho ko bukod sa may, may sweldo ako um, part pa rin to ng pagtulong sa mga may, may kapansanan. Access to employment and adequate income is another right that a person with disability, just like everyone else, is entitled to. Ernesto Lucio and Ronel Del Rio, both visually impaired, enjoy flourishing careers in their respective fields. They are proof that given the opportunity and with proper training, persons with disabilities could be productive, valuable members of the workforce. Uh, nagustuhan ko ang radyo kasi hindi naman niya kailangan ng, ng visual. So, bibig at utak. Okay, pwede mo pwede yun sa bulan. No? So, uh, I, I, I learned to, to uh, hone my, my craft. This October, I'll be uh, celebrating my 20th anniversary. And because of my being on radio, dumami yung programa ng mga may kapansanan sa Batanga. Uh, meron akong anim na anak. Yung professional sila lahat. Uh, ako nagtrabaho bilang sa social worker sa mahabang panahon. Yung sa sweldo lang, uh, kinukuha yung panusto sa uh, pamilya sa pag-aaral ng mga bata. Uh, yung kapansanan, hindi talagang malaking hadlang. Uh, kayang i-overcome yan. So, kung nakailangan ng mga may kapansanan ay uh, patuloy na i-assert ang kanilang karapatan Una sa pag-aaral, pangalawa sa paghahanap buhay. The city government of Mandaluyong, recognizing the value of productive persons with disabilities in the community, has seriously taken on the implementation of Republic Act 10070. It has created a Persons with Disabilities Affairs Office that specifically focuses on providing programs on education, employment, and livelihood for persons with disabilities. This division also monitors all establishments in the city to make sure they are accessible and complying with a 20% discount mandate for persons with disabilities. We should work hand in hand. Eh. So I've always believed that we dapat tulungan eh kung, kung magiging productive ang mga PWTs, ang ekonomiya ng isang pamahalaan is mas, mas unlad. Oftentimes, it is in the home that persons with disabilities experience their first taste of exclusion and discrimination. Fortunately, this was not the case for Franco, who has autism, and Clarissa, who has Down syndrome. Through proper guidance and communication, their parents were able to help them discover and develop their talents. My daughter Clarissa was born in uh, 1987. Nung 18 siya, na-discover ko na meron siyang hearing impairment. While I was homeschooling Clarissa, I would um, like teach, teach her through drawings. No? Nag-aral din ako mag-sign language. Initially, in-enroll ko muna siya para mag-aral ng painting for six months. After six months, I, I began to teach her myself here at home. That's where we, you know, we started um, developing our own style. Eventually, this, these paintings were um, appreciated, I guess, by other people. I would post them in Facebook and people would see it. So some people would say, nah, are those paintings for sale? So they, some would buy it and then we would be invited to exhibit. Her paintings have been exhibited here and abroad. Mema Kagayat learned all she could about autism to be able to help her son Franco hurdle barriers and become the sought-after sculptor he is today. Mema's advocacy also extends to other families that have members with disabilities. I'm a member of Autism Society Philippines. So, pinilit kong magputap ng center dito sa Paete para for advocacies, for edu para ma-educate the parents. 
people around them may disability yun. For persons with autism, they're all unique. If you uh, discover something unique on yourself, especially in your skills, develop nyo yan, person nyo yan. Uh, mas linangin nyo pa. Uh, and seek the help of people who, whom you're close with. Huwag kayong sumuko. Mas vast na yung world. Mas medyo malawak na yung mundong pwedeng galawan mo. Kung may acceptance. Integral to the advocacy for their rights is the active involvement of persons with disabilities themselves. Olympics champions Jose de la Cruz and Dennis Balan, both deaf, have devoted their lives to educating and equipping children who are deaf. I believe that education is very important to help persons with disabilities improve. PWDs need to have strong conviction so they can stand alone and be successful. Ang national organization Visually Impaired Empowered Ladies and Philippine Blind Union Committee and Women, they ano po, invite me to participate or uh, sumama po dito po sa the, uh, Philippine Fashion Week. Kasi po dahil po ako po yung nanalo po as Miss Philippines vision po. Isa rin po ito sa uh, part po ng duty ko and then isa na rin po ito sa advocacy po namin sa uh, para in public awareness po na maramdaman po namin, may isama po kami sa maktibidad na ganun po. I am currently an in-house artist of the Center for Autism and Related Disorder. I am also a member of Autism Society Philippines. These are the, the high-functioning ones, but the ones who are most aware of their surroundings and their situations, use their time and talent to, to, help, to help those to have a, a lesser awareness of their, of their surroundings. During also my, um, the height of my disability, of my disease actually, it's an illness, I learned to express my feelings through writings. I look for avenues on what mission to take and advocacy came into my life and that's where I put my skills into, I put my writing and my art in trying to tell people that persons with disability does not have to stop dreaming. Disability should not be a barrier in itself to achieve what you really want to do or you, what you really want to achieve in life. That you have to go through it or over it or around it to be able to serve the community. For far too long, this sector of persons with disabilities has been overlooked and neglected in society. It is high time that their voices be heard. For persons with disabilities, na. so mag ano tayo, para magtulungan tayo. Lamin natin yung karapatan natin, we educate natin yung mga tao na nasa paligid natin. And then we assert our rights. So government side, napaka-importante, sabi ng UNCRPD, kailangan yung persons with disabilities kinokonsulta. Or hindi lang basta sila mag-create ang program based on what they know. Based on ano yung akala nilang, alam nilang dapat or tama para sa persons with disabilities. Kailangan nilang consulted doon mismo sa may kapansanan ko ano yung, ano yung best for them, di ba? First, your disabilities do not demand for special treatment. We demand for inclusion. Hindi nyo po kami kailangan i-isolate para lang ma-accommodate ma yung aming um, need or para makapag-exercise kami. Maraming mga paraan na ma pwede nating gawin pag tulong-tulungan upang sa ganun ay um, ma-enjoy din namin kung ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga taong walang kapansanan. With acceptance, encouragement, and support from everyone, change can and will happen. Each of us in various ways can contribute to enable persons with disabilities. Families with members who are persons with disabilities must exemplify genuine acceptance and truly practice inclusion in their family. The justice system must ensure 
that its services are accessible to persons with disabilities. Schools should not segregate children with disabilities. They should have adequate facilities and competent teachers and staff to provide quality education for all students equally. Civil society and faith-based groups should include the rights of persons with disabilities in their advocacies and ministries. The business sector can do its share by giving job opportunities to qualified persons with disabilities. Policymakers must involve persons with disabilities in all discussions regarding matters that concern them. And most of all, persons with disabilities themselves and their organizations should know, voice out, and claim their rights along with others. When these basic rights are guaranteed and enjoyed by persons with disabilities, the whole nation will benefit from the significant contribution of a truly enabled sector. Breaking down barriers that cause disability is everybody's business. Get involved. Value the person beyond disability. Let us make the right real for persons with disabilities.